2015 started for us in Fiji. We went for a shakedown sail back to Narai and were welcomed with open arms. Probably all visiting yachts get the invitation, but nobody ever returns, except we did. I guess because Nairai is not on the list of have to. Next to Curly's houseboat in Savu Savu, we enjoyed the last few days in Fiji. The voyage to Australia was good. The last 48 hours of the voyage, already behind the Great Barrier Reef in fairly shallow water and dangers everywhere, we got a gale that resulted in a cracked rib for me and gave Ilko a run for his seamanship. Mackay, our port of entry, was very good. The wet Sundays were very enjoyable where magical butterflies prettied our days and schools of fish happily played. Being attacked by another yacht before break of day on the Queensland coast was definitely a nerve-wracking, unbelievable experience. And watching the crocodile tracks over our tracks in the sand was the most hair-raising event. Cooktown was fascinating. It is definitely a place not to miss. Darwin Evening Market was memorable. At silhouette time one evening, we encountered three small boats which fitted the smuggler description. With an immediate and wide arch, we went wide around them. The many sea snakes in the Timor Sea were creepy, especially since there were no wind and we kind of crawled through and over this slithery, snaky sea. Yuck! Beautiful Cocos Keeling was an oasis after the rough and tough trip all the time voyaging across the Indian Ocean. In the middle of the big wide waters of the Indian Ocean, we encountered 12 big ships in one day, and they did not steer clear of us. We're glad we went to Madagascar. It's different and interesting. It's Africa. We could hear the quiet. Cute lemur apes were encountered frequently in many places. Giant tortoises and talkative parrots brightened our days. Smoke colored the skies grey in day and amazingly fiery at dusk. The hills are barren, stripped from wood. Nozihara stands out for us as an extremely unique place. One either run away or stare in awe. And the reason for our going to Madagascar? Their living traditional sailing. Absolutely amazing, awesome, you name it, beautiful. One get the feeling of a bygone era. Absolutely memorable. The Mozambique Channel was a challenge to sail, with its many currents and countercurrents, and skipper up in the mast trying to repair our broken by bird wind meter. We had our storms in Mozambique and southeast of Durban. It was events not ever to forget. We went into survival mode for days. My lady is just such an amazingly good ocean-going craft. Skipper earned his sea miles and my prayers were heard. We arrived alive and sound in South Africa. I'm so looking forward to meet my grandchildren.